I guess we're on, man. All right. Hey, YouTube. It's Matches 860. And... What's up, Pipers? Brad here with you from Pipes and Kayaks. Surrounded by greatness. And... Sergeant Savinelli. We're stuffed. Oh, my God. Cry babies. I invited them <laughs> to the party and they whine. I feed them, they whine. Ah, this is too much food. Ah, yeah. I've never had it so good. Top notch cigars, top notch food. I've never had it so good. Yeah, me too. I just lost my ash. Oh. So wow. make sure to check out Sergeant Savinelli's channel for the uh, cooking demonstration. That's after my phone charges up because I'm down to like 22% and there's no way in hell I can upload anything right now. <laughs> well, that's all right. This won't get uploaded till tonight. Yeah, yeah. So Brad came up from Rhode Island. It's about a, time. A flawless trip. Yeah, it went well. Going home is going to be the challenge. Yeah, it's going to be the challenge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Traffic is going to be a little tricky on our own home. That's all right, though. It was well worth the trip. And we've been laughing ever since we met up on the highway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> a year. We just talked about a year we've been trying to do this, get together. Finally. Finally. And the weather cooperated. It was a little nasty this morning. I thought we were going to get washed out, but we're all right. Here we are. If so, that would have been my fault. You can't go to a ball game with me. It'll rain. Ah! <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, but I think I think you were the good luck today because it turned the weather around. Yeah, that's for you know that's a switch if I brought the good luck. Sure you did. See, <laughs> it's the right combination. Wow, this is good. Yeah. What are we smoking? Squealos. Squealo cigars. That's right. Yeah, I mean you look at it and say, oh, oh it's just it's it's even got. You can see crystals on it. It's awesome. Just enough sweetness. It's so much like the Toscano, but it really is tighter than a Toscano, I think, isn't it? Well, here's the thing. Toscano is the actual type of cigar that it is. Oh. So that is a Toscano cigar. All right. All right? I thought it was a brand name. It also is a brand name. The, the original Toscani cigars are, to, are, to, are the, the Toscanos that you tried, that you yep. had. Yep, yep. Um, they took the name Toscano for the brand, Okay. but it's actually the type of cigar that it is. A Toscano cigar is a dry cured, uh, uh, dark fired Kentucky. You can yep. definitely taste that. No question about it. Yep. And like we talked about before, these were a mistake, you know? Yep. By mistake, they, uh, they made these. What a mistake. What a mistake. Imagine that. I love these things. And that's, that just shows you how the guineas are so cheap. Yeah. The guy didn't want to lose that barrel of tobacco, so he said, out the hell with it, roll them wet. Yeah. Right? Hey, some of the best things happen by accident. By accident, right. And in case you didn't see earlier, if you saw the Saja series on these cigars, which if I could actually get a little more out of this, I will. But now these were, what were these again, Saj? Those are the original Moneymaker Brevas from the FD Grave Cigar Company that is now defunct. Um, that's an original one. It's got about 10 years of age on it. Oh, it was good. I have uh, I have two boxes of those left. One of them open, one of them sealed. And uh, yeah, that's that's the, the real deal. They're still being made by FX Smith down in McSherry Town, Pennsylvania. That's who had the contract for FD Grave when, uh, when they were open. They're still making them, but they can't use the moneymaker name, as I said in my series, because uh, Dorothy Grave Hoyt, when she retired, the great-granddaughter of Freddie Hoyt, the guy that started, Frederick Hoyt, started the company back in the many, many moons ago, uh, she decided to retire that moneymaker name with her and in honor to her, her great-grandfather. So now they're just under the Tuscarora name, but same cigar, they haven't changed them. Couldn't believe because 
Saj was telling me, oh, wait till you try them, wait till you try them. Oh, my God. I knew they were going to be good, but holy cow, they were really good. See, he thought I was full of shit. Not so much. <laughs> <laughs> I've already smoked two of them. I'm ready to smoke two more. <laughs> I wouldn't steer you wrong. No, the Saj knows his cigars, no question. Yes, he does. And I'm smoking the last third of a nice Asylum 13. Compliments of Brad. What another great cigar these are. Absolutely okay. delicious. Pretty nice. Uh, that bullfrog's not quitting, huh? And nope. the bullfrog. Oh, wait, wait. wait they start going. It sounds like the, the, the Hartford Symphony. Jeez. <laughs> and then the tree frogs start in. Oh, yeah. And you got them all going. Oh, please. You can't, you can't sit back here when you hear the tree frogs going. They drive you bananas. <laughs> I love them personally. My wife loves them, but they just they make a racket. I'm actually surprised they're not going because usually they come out in the heat and humidity and you'll hear them. Probably tonight for sure. I had one found his way into one of these flower pots that she's got in the deck over here. We couldn't find the little son of a gun. He drove us nuts. <laughs> all day long, all night long. It was like, oh, where is he? Yeah. Uh. Oh, yeah, and we do have, I did bring with me, and courtesy of John, we do have some, how many years old is this Penzance? What was it, 1999? 98, I 98? think. 98? Probably could be 99. Well, Penzance, and yes, it is good. Oh, that was good. I already had a bowl of that. It was courtesy of John, so there's no way I was going to leave it home. Very much appreciated, Brad. So you were saying uh, no more live stream? Nope, no, no more live streams until I either get it figured out why I'm having so many problems or, I don't know, maybe next winter I might start it up again. We'll have to see what happens. You could see on the last one, but at times it seemed like a little... The, uh, it was just so choppy from what yeah. I could tell. And there was that one time you made it to like 11 minutes, and then all of a sudden... <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. there was that one time at New Year's Eve that I went for, what, a whole hour? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And I figured, this is gold, you know? Yeah. And then it was downhill from there. Then there was ones we could see you, but the comments weren't. There was no comments. Yeah. We couldn't see them. Right. And you know, when that first happened, I thought it was going to be good because I wouldn't get distracted. But... That distracts you more knowing that there's no comments coming in. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it ruins it. And I actually, when I was getting the comments, used to go off in different directions, which was a lot of fun. So, yeah. Hey, it was still one of the best Friday Night Live programs that... <laughs> yeah, for a while I was competing with uh, Public Piper. He was always on before me. <laughs> and then our two would overlap. A lot of fun when it works. Well, in case I forgot, I think I did it earlier, but Mike at Smoking Briar just wanted to say hello to Mike. Hey, Mike. Oh, yeah, we got to give all the shout outs again. Yep. Yes, we do. In case we miss any, check out Sarge's channel. We shouted out everybody. Yes, we did. We absolutely <laughs> did. Oh. And that, I got to mention him again, Northeast Piper, UK. And it was the Savinelli that he got. And I couldn't get it in the 614, but there it is. And like I told John, as soon as I saw that pipe, oh, man. Yep. It's just a great pipe. So are we going to be seeing you on in the next few weeks, or are you still waiting for the allergies to clear? No, thankfully, like, I've been sitting out here, and it is even windy, and I'm okay. So it's, <clears throat> I don't mind saying I probably had the worst year with my allergies that I've probably had in over 20, over 20 years. I mean, and, you know, they, they the university of they, said it was going to be a bad year, and they say, well, they always say that. They always say that. But no, nah, this year is yeah. awful. So I finally got my kayak out this week. 
finally got outside, it was like just sick of being sitting in the air conditioning because it's really all you can do. You go out and get the mail and you're sneezing for a half hour. Yep, you know, yep. Oh, it's just misery. Well, it was so hot this past week, I didn't even go out and get the mail. <laughs> Uh, like I said, I, I liked it, but I wouldn't want to dig a ditch. <laughs> you know, it was hot. Way too hot. It'll change now, and then it'll cool off, and it'll get hot again in a few weeks. Yeah, August is always kind of nasty for at least a week. So are you still doing the uh, the work series? Yep, I have... Uh... I think I kind of figured out I can do four or five more and that'll be the end of that. And I'm glad I got it all on video now, so if I end up losing my mind, somebody <laughs> can play those for me and maybe it'll spark some memories. Oh, don't even think about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. It was a good series. Yeah, it was fun to Very do. interesting. And I got some side stories I'll tell. Um, well, actually, I'll probably do one this month because uh, it occurred in July, and then another one around Labor Day because it was a Labor Day story, work story. So that'll be fun. The one that sticks out in my mind right now is the couch. Oh, uh, Eleanor's couch. <laughs> that was too funny. That was a lot of fun doing that job. Selling that furniture and just... You know, we did it on our lunch break, <laughs> and we would just be getting fists full of dollars selling the stuff during lunchtime. Really funny. Yeah, it made me laugh because <clears throat> the story was funny, but then it made me think about a couch that uh, a buddy of mine had, and I we got when, like, when I, you know, you first move out and you say, "Well, I want some furniture right away," so a guy gave me a couch and. It was impossibly comfortable on this couch. You just couldn't, <laughs> no matter what you did. Oh, well, maybe you got the rubber couch. I, now I knew why a guy was sharing. I said, hey, I know why he gave you this for free. I said, yeah, you'd be more comfortable sitting on the floor. <laughs> and my friend always said the same thing. Well, it beats milk crates. So, and it was about as comfortable as a milk crate. It was just a weird couch. Like it had like a deep pitch and you'd sit in it and you felt like you were falling this way. Yep. And your lower back always said, what the hell are you doing to me? <laughs> but I can't even remember. I can't even remember what I did with that couch. I have no idea. I, I, I know after I moved like three times after that, I must have gave it to somebody. I'm sure they cursed me for it. Probably. Yeah, I'm sure. Is that bullfrog again? Yep. We seem to have lost Sarge. He's probably cooking more or getting more stuff to cook. Yeah, I have probably. To, I have to say, that, though, I mean, I really appreciate this. The Sarge really went above and beyond. I'm so, used to eating, like, maybe one hamburger and some vegetables or something for supper. Not a uh, hamburger, red hot, <laughs> uh, flowers, vegetables. Yeah, he went all out. We're really grateful to you, Sarge. Yes, sir, Sarge, even though you're not here. Yep. He, uh, <laughs> hope he hasn't been dispatched or something. Nah. He's on vacation. He's really on good. <sighs> nice breeze. Yeah, it's not bad. Hope these, I don't get wind noise. These do kind of, the Kentucky in here kind of reminds me of, <clears throat> not the Peterson Irish Flake, but there's a, a Kentucky old dark card. Yeah, that could be it. Yep. I'm getting it. it the taste is reminding me of. Uh, I always call this uh, America's try at Latakia. Hmm. Yeah, you can see that. Nowhere near anything like Latakia, but it's got the smoky. Yeah. You know, somebody tried. You definitely have the. Uh, you can taste the dark coffee. Like a hint of uh, cocoa. And it's like I said, it's sweet, but it's not like, ah, uh, too sweet. It's good. And I want to see, dare I do it, but the Friday Savinelli. Ah, uh, there it is. You know, 
Wow, I'm afraid I'm gonna drop it. I gotta put it down. Yeah. Here comes Sarge. Here's the Sarge. Regular scheduled maintenance. Yep. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, hey. You like those, I don't like them. Oh, uh, you know what? I got no choice but to like them. <laughs> Thanks, Sarge. You're welcome. I believe he's, oh yeah, look at that. Look for you. Wow. So, did you mention this, John? No, we didn't. We didn't go. Uh, Not in this video. All right, I well, we're going to mention your video. We're going to mention it because I'm going to light some up. There you go. So, a couple of quick, uh, quick shout-outs. Eric, blue collar pipe smoker. Eric, he's a little stinker because I sent him uh, just a little something, something, and next thing I know, I get a box, and in that box is this beautiful, beautiful Bjarn freehand. Look at that thing. I don't know if you can see the stem on that. Look at that. Beautiful stem. Absolutely unbelievable. That's a gorgeous pipe. Right? Yeah. Also in the box was some Elizabethan mixture, the Sutliff match to the Dunhill. We're going to try this today. I know this isn't my regular pipe smoking season, but uh, <laughs> yeah, you know. there's cigar in it too today, so I might as well give it a shot. Pipe. Absolutely. It's unusual. I mean, I don't know how many videos you've actually seen John smoking a cigar. Not too many. I think there's one that I recall. And then the ones that we did. Yeah, I did um, the Cuban cigar where I told the story. Yeah. And uh, I think there might have been one other one. It's very rare. In fact, uh, on both of those backcountry pipe. Hey, Mark. How you doing? Hey, Mark. Mark. Uh, sent me cigars. Yep. And uh, one of those was a brick house, if I remember correctly. That's a good cigar. They are yeah. phenomenal. I love them both, the natural and the Maduro. Cannot go wrong. I got a box of them in there. And for uh, the yeah. price, too. I mean, no matter, you yeah, no matter where you find them, it's a good yeah, cigar. Yeah, you can't go price. wrong. You cannot go wrong. But I'm <clears> hooked <throat> on these things. Aren't they good? Oh, love these. Half hour smoke out of that thing if you, if you take it easy with it. Yep. Nice. Quick break smoke, you know, that type of thing. I'm going to need some fire. You guys got fire that doesn't shoot like welding fire? Because <laughs> I have welding fire over here. Oh, yeah, you need, ah, yeah, you need regular. The matches, 860 <laughs> monogrammed right there. With a regular insert. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. I've gotten a lot of questions about that lately, too. Mm. Really? The uh, Zippo video I did a few years back gets an awful lot of views, and probably once a week I'll get a question about Zippos. Oh, then the, the How to Clean video? That was that was a great video, Well, too. no, this one was, it just said Zippos on the video. Oh, oh. that's the one you did in the basement, right? Yes. Yep. Yep. Mm. Mm-hmm. And basically, the... Uh, Regular Zippo insert and the pipe insert, as far as I'm concerned, they light the same, but the pipe insert uh, gets dirty really quick. Gets a wicked carbon buildup mm -hmm. on it, and that's why I don't like it. Yeah, it does. Quick shout out to Barry Becker. What's Barry up, brother? Becker. I'm using your tamper that you sent me. Barry handmade this for me out of a drumstick and a Big old cartridge. Look at that. Wow. This thing is so heavy, you don't even have to tamp. You just drop it in and it does all the work for it. Feel that thing. Wow. Is that phenomenal or what? Holy cow. Yeah, Barry's a drummer. So. Very well done. Yeah. Shout out to Tony P. Tony for the, P. Uh, lighter there. Thing is heavy. Holy cow. I'm going to put this baby out. Wow, it's a heck of a pipe. Mm -hmm. That is beautiful. Quite a chunk of wood. Oh, and it smokes great. Perfect draw. Mm. Hey, you can smell the Elizabethan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it smells great. It smells great. Oh, that does smell yep. good. It smells really good. Eric, this stuff is really close. Yep. Really close. That's what I said. Wow. 
Wow. Good stuff. You start to wonder if you're going <clears> to, <throat> down the road, see like a lot of match blends. Like, I know McClellan, I mean, you'll never, I mean, there's blends now that say, well, this is as close to Penzance as you'll get. Yeah. like McClellan, like, well, like, see, I like the honeydew. McClellan honeydew, you say, well, well, Bombay caught, well, it's a match. It's close. Yep. You know, like you get ones that, that, you know, it's like that's even smells that you couldn't tell it's close. It's yep. phenomenal. Yeah. And I did get a wonderful, wonderful letter from Eric, Blue Collar Pipe Smoker's dad. Mm. Mr. K, I, I can't thank you enough. I was so touched by that letter. Um, and listen, it was my pleasure to be able to share some of my fortunate find of uh, Frogmorton Cellar there. And uh, Eric is actually tinkering around with creating a, his own match to uh, Frogmorton Cellar. Yep. And uh, he's using the right base, that's for sure. That HGL is about as close to a, to, to, to a, a good base for that as you can get. You know, throw a little more Latakia in there, you'll be all set. Really, really good stuff. And I sent Eric some staves that I had saved from I saw that. my empty containers. Oh, yeah. So hopefully that'll uh, that'll work out for you. And uh, but again, there's no thanks necessary. I was glad to, to to be able to share that with you, and I hope it brings you as much as as much enjoyment as it brings me. That's a line that I think a lot of people miss is the Frog Martin. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, a lot of yeah. people are gonna miss that. I'll tell you, if I couldn't get it anymore, I'd miss it for sure. Oh. I stocked up on enough of it that I've got it to, now to last me. Because <laughs> I ordered Bayou and I ordered Cellar. Yep. I think I got I got 10 or 15 tins of each. That'll last me a long yeah. time. <clears throat> I've got a couple of them. The one I, like I was telling you earlier, the one I regret, I wish I would have known was the Bombay Court. I miss um. that. Yeah, I've only got one tin left. Mm. And that's the one I'm going to miss the most. I like the Honeydew a lot. McClellan Honeydew, but I'm gonna miss the Bombay Court. Hey Sutliff, if you're paying attention here to this video, <laughs> all right, let's get going on some matches, will you? Not that matches, the other <laughs> kind of matches. A match to Bombay Court, a match to Frogmorton Cellar, a match to Frogmorton on the Bayou, on the town was great. <laughs> let's go. We know you're watching, you gotta be watching. How can you not watch three guys? Thanks to Doug Owen, I got a pound of 5,100 red cake. Ooh. And since you mentioned Doug Owen. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's do a commercial. That little stinker. Look at what he did. <laughs> now, Dougie popped in on one of my uh, one of my videos that I did about the uh, the Connecticut cigars and Connecticut tobacco. The little blue skies outlook. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Yep. So, Doug said that, you know, he, he gave me a little quick thing that, I guess back in the day, him and his dad had a uh, cigar shop in the Portland area, I think he said. And they used to carry moneymakers. Moneymakers and brevas, uh, the moneymaker brevas, and so forth. So I guess when he saw my video, he was a little nostalgic, right, Doug? Okay, so he said, would you like to do a trade? And I said, well, absolutely. I said, what would you like? Would you like some of each? All right, so... I sent him some of the money makers and some of the brevas, and he says, what do you want back? Well, I made the mistake of saying, surprise me. <laughs> Boy, did he. I would say. This thing shows up in the mail. There it is. Nice bag. Doug Owen, the cargo hold, way up in Seattle, or not Seattle, where, where the hell is he? Uh, I Paul's Bow. What is it? Paul's Bow. Paul's Bow. I, I have a hard time saying that. Paul's Bow, Washington. There he is. I opened the thing up, and right away, there's a tin of Burley Flake. Holy mackerel. I moved the thing aside, and there's a bag of sticks in here that's like Unbelievable. a whole humidor full <laughs> of all of the premium cigars that I absolutely love. And there's a couple of them in here that I have not tried that are on my list to try. So... I don't know if your crystal ball was working that day, overtime, or what, Doug, but I'll tell you what, you hit it right on the head and you knocked off three or four cigars that I wanted to try that were on my, my list. So I can't thank you enough, pal. He's that the man. Is, 
that is high quality right that's there. right <clears throat> so if you haven't gone to the cargo holds website get there and make sure you buy some stuff from from Doug I'd love to go in there somewhere. oh my god oh, yeah all the nautical stuff oh and, I'm a nautical oh, yeah. nut Yeah, I said it before, it's like being away at some northern mountain resort here. Yep. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. New Hampshire. <laughs> New, Hampshire. Uh, New Hampshire. New Hampshire. John, this is how you use a pipe cleaner. Look, watch. <laughs> I'm going to show you now. Pay attention. Oh, wow. Listen, I say, listen to me. There. Boy, you are not a chicken. You are a chicken hawk. That, I say, there boy, I is say, a chicken. Boy. Yeah, I want to slip you one, John. There you go. You oh, stuck I it over there. my other one here. That one looked like it got dragged from a car. <laughs> Are you smoking Penzance? I am. Ah. I am. So you put this in here. <laughs> oh yeah, it comes out dirty. Yep. I should be able to use this, what, another 30 times? <laughs> See that little house over there, boy? Says D O G. That spells chicken. Go get him, boy. <laughs> oh, Michelle V's gonna love that. And if Phil Rivar is watching, that was for him too. <laughs> Shout out to Phil Rivar. Hey, well, just see the latest. Holy shit! I just blew ash all over myself. What the hell's the matter with me? It reminds me of my old buddy Leo. God rest him. Fucking pinholes all over the place. He's had some really nice pipes up on Instagram. Oh, some of the last yeah. ones that he put up on on you on uh, uh, Facebook. Yeah. Holy mackerel! That la that last one that I saw, phenomenal. Well, then he comes out and he'll make. Uh, did you see that? What do they call it for the conductor? Oh, the baton. Yeah. Yeah. Make stuff like that, walking sticks. Wow. Very talented. I'll say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can feel the sun now. Wow. Yeah, it's getting too hot. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. And there it is, <laughs> right there. There it is. Hey, I'm an old New Englander. I hate the heat. <laughs> I hate the cold. <laughs> yeah. You get a mix of all of it, and you end up hating cold. Or see, like, yeah. See, I know people that love the cold. Actually, there's like... Two days in October that are ideal, and two days in May that are ideal. Oh, the rest yeah. of the year stinks. <laughs> it's, it's a different season every other day, so you never really know. Yeah. Hey, listen, in April, I had three feet of snow on this friggin' deck over here. Mother Nature was getting ready to get a visit from the ninja. <laughs> I remember that video, and you oh, were not happy, and God. I shared your misery. Oh. But May is usually hell for me because of the allergies, and typically I'm done at the end of May. This year, uh-uh. Oh, my. Hmm. What time are they done anyway? I don't know. 436. Really? I think that gives me uh, an over 30 minute video, which isn't too bad. But I think I'll shut it off so that we can go back to having boy talk, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> We've been having a lot of laughs, folks. Oh, yeah. But not all of it's fit for YouTube. <laughs> we'll share some of it with you, but not all of it. Nope. Mm -mm. All right. I'm going to go shut her down. You guys can say goodbye. Take care, Pipers. I want to thank the Sarge again for what was... Yes, yes. Thank you, Sarge. Tremendous. Tremendous. More to come. Take care, YouTube. Thanks a lot for joining us. We really appreciate it. Everybody have a good weekend.